Agricultural production was once self-sustaining and all solar. That's because it used horses. The advent of the tractor sped up production as it did ecological degradation. Yet the problems caused by technology are, in the public imagination, to be solved by creating more technology, not less. It would be easy to attribute this popular idea to modern capitalism, but why let war off the hook? Weapons made of metal get better all the time, Technology, if seen as a pursuit of control, short-circuits itself in the work of Craig Kalpatchin. To be sure, the overriding themes of his art over the past two decades, power, surveillance, confinement, are all here, at the fore. But what if this dystopian duality of man versus machine is flipped on its head? What if Kalpatchin is not somber, but a prankster instead? Into the Corner 2020 is an apparatus built for surveillance projecting the worrisome feeling that you are the object of scrutiny, not it, not the art. Its panoptic cameras, standing almost 8 feet high, see 360 degrees. At its base, a monitor makes this explicit, even as the display documents its own self-presentation into a visual vortex. Beneath the register, 2019, is a tiled version of a surveillance mirror. It feels multi-cameraed, too, as the reflection is fractured into many points of view, not a totalizing picture as you'd have in a fisheye image. But what if these two works are viewed differently, as not about surveillance at all? The cameras atop into the corner observe nothing we can't see with our own eyes. The searchlight darts across the walls, discovering nothing. It isn't even quote-unquote looking. The beam comes from an upside-down NO pocket scan, built for lighting effects pre-programmed, as you might find in concert halls or clubs. The security mirror as a disco ball. Reconfigured space is seen in L7 number 9, one of a series of computer-generated abstractions riffing on Joseph Alber's color studies, titled Homage to the Square. Opening up Alber's work, Kalpakjian creates illusionistic space, not flat color, and emphasizes a sag across the horizontal plane. The work draws you in, and then drops you down. Goalless Mini 2020 is a bit darker in spirit. It's perhaps the most minimalist in the show. Minimal in the sense that minimalist art sought to be self-contained without reference or asking much of viewers to complete it. That said, this work cannot complete itself, however self-directed it may be. The light that is powered by the solar panel that is supposed to, in turn, power the light is a conceit of utopian self-sufficiency. But here, it's a downward spiral, always in need of human care. Like a navel gazer, it's oblivious to the consequences of its own myopia. Silent Running from 2020 encourages a houseplant to overtake a crane-like structure that shines a light on itself. Presumably, the light helps the plant grow and yet the energy must be taken from the wall, the gallery, and water from a traditional watering can, like any other plant in your home would. There is nothing new here, only the appearance of it, a deceit that has always bedeviled new media art. Perhaps advancements humanity develops for itself will always win contests with their creators, not by being better, but by consuming more resources and attention. As can be seen in the work of Craig Kalpakjian, the technologies that are here to save us cannot even save themselves. <laughs>